Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I am showing you the easiest St. Patrick's Day dessert ever. Everyone loves St. Patrick's Day festivities and one fan fave is green beer. Due to alcohol content, this is not a recipe for children. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's go. You can see here, I'm just using a vanilla box cake mix. We're going to prepare the cake according to the instructions on the box, except for one ingredient. This one calls for three eggs, vegetable or canola oil, and water, except we're going to replace the water in the recipe with Guinness. Once we have all of our ingredients combined, we're gonna add green food coloring. I added about 20 drops of the liquid kind, which is pretty much the most basic and widely available type you can get. I wanted mine to be a bit brighter, so I did add a little yellow food coloring gel. If you have the yellow liquid kind, you can use that here, or you can just leave it straight green. You go ahead and color to your preference. It doesn't matter what pans you use for this, but I chose to use round tins for deeper layers and I always like to line my pans with parchment paper for easy cleanup later. You are going to bake the cake according to the instructions on the box. This one was 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You know the cake is done when you insert a wooden toothpick into the center and it comes out clean. Once baked, set them aside to cool and you can get started on your topping. I didn't measure at all here because I was making this for two different kinds of desserts, but I'll give you an approximation on the ratios. Just add your sugar to the heavy cream and whisk until it starts to thicken, and then you're gonna add Irish cream. You might be tempted to add more Irish cream. But I will warn you that the taste could get a bit overwhelming and also the excessive alcohol could cause your mixture to split. Once it's combined, add it to a piping bag and set aside. If you don't have a piping bag, just use a Ziploc bag or you can simply just spoon it on. Now back to our cake, which is now cool. Remove it from the pan and grab a couple of pint glasses. I had these laying around the house, but if you don't, you can find these at the dollar store. Next, we're gonna find a cookie cutter or something similar that's around the same size as the glass. Then cut out rounds of cake and place them one layer at a time into each glass. If your cake gets stuck, you can use the bottom of a smaller glass to gently push the cake down into the bottom of your pint glass. And you're gonna fill that till it's about three quarters of the way full. And then you're just gonna top it with your whipped Irish cream. It looks great just like this, but if you wanna add just a little extra something, you can top with green sprinkles or green sanding sugar like I did here. Cheers. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and then like and share this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.